Peace, everyone. Grand Rising. This is Angela Jordan Perry, the owner, director, and administrator of this Option 3 Accountability Association here in South Carolina, a United Community of Homeschoolers Unlimited. So today's question is something that I get fairly often and something that I personally have walked through myself and done with my students. Um, how do you handle, hi Donia, how do you handle when your student has um, completed a course, a specific course, but it has taken a year and a half to maybe two years to complete? How do you put that on a transcript or a report card? How do you report that? How do you even grade that? And uh, so that's a really great question. And I, like I said, I have done that personally for a few of my students, my children over during their schooling year. So I'm going to explain that. But first, let me let you know a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm the homeschooling mom of 19 years to eight children, three of whom we have graduated through high school all the way from the beginning to the end and five of whom I'm still homeschooling. I'm still in the thick of it. We make our home in the northwestern part of the state of South Carolina in the, the mountains um, and foothill area of Campobello is where we live. We are self-sustaining farmers. We have a small farm, which at this point is probably more like pets because our chickens are not laying eggs and we're not milking our goats <laughs> and our turkeys. Everyone has stopped laying eggs, so I don't know what that means. So, But we have our farm and uh, we grow a little bit of our own produce in that and we haven't had a steer and it's time to get a steer this year. So we are farmers, but we haven't been doing a lot of farming. All right, so that's a little bit about me. I have been the owner and director of this administration for this organization for five years now and still counting. And um, so anyway, that's just a little bit about me. All right, so let me let you know. The beautiful thing about homeschooling our children is that we don't have to feel like everything has to be in a crunch time. Hi, Bryn. Um, everything has to be in a crunch in Eugenia, meaning that if they're doing math, for example, even fifth grade math or algebra one or geometry or calculus, and they are just not getting it, and it's taking a longer time for them to get it. The beautiful thing about homeschooling is that we get to slow it down. If they're in public school, they have to keep up with the pace of the teacher and her goals for what she needs to get done with that math subject for that year. And if they don't do it in that year, then they fail it or they don't get to see it or they repeat it and repeat the whole grade. But when you're in homeschool, you don't have to feel that way. Uh, I have done with several of my students, Algebra 2, we, I just slowed them way down and said completed over two years. Algebra 1, I did that with another student, slowed it way down and completed over a two-year period. Um, for my, when my kids were in elementary, uh, when we, we can't, we don't do middle school stuff. We go right from elementary and then we go right into high school studies. And so if I feel like something that they're done in elementary, which I've do, done this year that they working on as far as fifth grade, then we just will keep going. Cause I don't have sixth, seventh and eighth grade grades to worry about. We just keep going until they understand those concepts from math. Math is usually a good one that you can do it over two years. I think I've done that as well for English over two years. Did I do it over two years? Can't remember. I, maybe not English, but definitely math is one and science. Science is the other. Chemistry, we just did it over two years. Uh, I didn't rush and say, okay, you got to get this done, get this done, because it was a lot of information and I, they really wanted to understand it. So I said, slow it down. All right. How does that look on your transcript? Or a report card. So on the transcript, when they have algebra one and meaning that, you know, they should technically have four maths up there. And generally, you might see on the transcript pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry, maybe calculus. OK. Um, so four math. Did I skip anything? Let me do it again. You, you normally see pre-algebra sometimes, that might be uh, middle school, but algebra one, algebra two, geometry, and maybe calculus, or maybe you just stopped at three maths and they did statistics or that was another map, math, or maybe they did budgeting or I usually do, um, it's like budgeting, I'm going to call it budgeting, but maintaining um, business type of math, okay? So, but anyway, um, when we have done an algebra one over two years, I did not put it on there. I put it under their ninth grade year, but it completed ninth and tenth grade year. It took ninth and tenth grade year, but I put it on their transcript under their ninth grade year and put the grade for it. 
And then same thing for each one. For So technically, for my kids, they have done Algebra 1, Algebra 2, um, Algebra 1, 2, and Geometry, those three maths, and another math that was an elective. But if they needed more time on those, I let them continue over that. You just put it in the you put the information in the current grade that they were initially started working on, and put the grade there and continue on you know accordingly. The same thing if it was science, we did that. So they started chemistry in their eleventh grade year, but I let them complete it over two years. And if we only did biology, chemistry, and physical science, those three sciences, and it, we did it over that period of time, it took four years. Then so be it. Um, I had a unique situation with my third oldest who ended up going to college in Mississippi and their requirements of what they wanted to see on the transcript was a lot different than um, South Carolina. So we were able to slow it down because she ended up finishing school at age 15 and going off to college at 16. So they didn't want to see all these maths and they didn't care to see all the sciences. So we were able to slow it down. We knew where she was going to college to study. So we knew that they only wanted to see, I think it was two math, uh, no, two sciences, I believe, and then three maths. So that allowed her to slow down her algebra two studies and that allowed her to slow down her chemistry studies um, with no problems. So hopefully that makes sense. The beautiful thing, again, I have to reiterate is that you get to choose the pace of your student as you're homeschooling. Don't feel like, oh, we got to get this book done. We got to get this book done this year. No, slow it down. It's going to be so much fun, more enjoyable and so much so fun if they're able to enjoy the subject at their pace. OK, and if it takes three years, it takes three years. It's mastery over just completion. That's my goal. Always mastery over completion. OK, if you have questions, comment down below and let me know. This video will also be on YouTube. So hi, all my YouTubers. So if you have questions about that, but if you're not a part of UCHU and you're with another association, be sure to ask your director at that association what they have to say. Everyone's going to tell you something different. The law does not spell it out, but this is my mama's heart as a homeschooler to tell you, you have the freedom to do it this way. The law does not speak to it. You have the freedom to do it that way. But ask your director, if you're not with UCHU, ask your director what they have to say about it, okay? Questions, comments, if you would like to speak with me by phone, click on the blue book it button here on the Facebook page. Um, if you're on YouTube and seeing this, uh, my virtual calendar um, link will be in the show notes so that you can certainly uh, book up a time with me if you'd like to speak directly or send me an email at uchu third option at gmail.com or send me a text at 864-300-2236. All right. So this is Angela Jordan Perry uh, with UCHUs, which stands for United Community of Homeschoolers Unlimited. I look forward to serving you and yours uh, the rest of the schooling year and into the next. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Peace.